Punk said some stuff. You know, some of it I agree with. Some of it, he was full of it. But at the end of the day, do your thing. Yes. Do your show. That's my, that's my Forget thought. about it. If you think he's wrong, prove it just by doing a kick-ass show. Yes. Come here, seemed whiny is too strong, but defensive. It did not yet. It came off as defensive. Yes. Brian. Brian and VD. Along with Granny and Craig and sometimes other people. Wrestling I'm a big fan of Dustin, but Butcher... And Dustin opening the show. I love Daddy Magic. Huge fan. They never give that guy any credibility. No. And he was in the main event. And I just thought, man, I don't know. I don't see this show doing well at all. And then Diana Parazzo wrestled Rose. That's it. One word. Rose. She's such a giant star that she has no last name. Or shoes. Mariah May versus Nikita. <laughs> the fuck was going on with no last names on no this last show? names in the Quebecois indies? I, La Femme Nikita? As an old school wrestling fan, I assumed it was La Femme. I don't want to get all hard on AEW or anything like that, but interest is way down from several years ago. Yeah. And the main reason for that remains that when AEW began, WWE fucking sucked. sucked. Yes. They didn't just suck, Vinny. They fucking suck. I stand corrected. Okay? Yeah. Right now, match quality on pay-per-view, higher than WWE. Match quality on television is better than WWE. I mean, storytelling, they're doing it better in WWE. Building up pay-per-views, they're doing it better in WWE. Interview segments, they're doing it better in WWE. Backstage segments, they're doing it better in WWE. They gotta do this better than WWE. You can't do WWE light and do it worse. Adam Copeland versus Matt Cardona. They put him over on commentary as the king of the indies. The fans are chanting holy shit like they can't believe this dream match. And they ate this match up. Well, he got a stinger and he said he was fine and it wasn't concussion. My presumption is they were not going to win the tournament. So I'm sure Ricky just figured get out of here and be safe. Granny's not feeling well, under the weather. Well, we'll uh, just say hi then, Granny. Okay. We've got a whole show without you planned today. And you've got my wrestling, so you can read it. Yeah. I'll, Excellent. I'll read. Oh, I got, now I'm looking forward to this. I got Granny's wrestling report. What would you do to The Rock if he pulled these shenanigans on Brian and made him bleed his own blood? Not much I could do about it. <laughs> you hear that, Rock? Apparently, there is a internet connection issues with the Big Vinny V show. I'm happy to hear about the complaint. It means I got to fix things. I can... You're happy to hear the complaint because it means people listened. Well, that too. Actually, yes. Well, uh, shall I read Granny's wrestling report? Absolutely. Wrestling. Undertaker versus Jerry Lawler casket oh. match. Paul Bear, B-E-A-R. So Lawler takes something out of his tights and starts punching Undertaker with it. His penis, perhaps. Lawler again takes out the mystery thing. <laughs> I just thought of and censored about 14 different jokes. The days in the life of Brian Alvarez. This is this is my whole life is contained in this book. How many, how many pages? By Granny, it says Gladys Gibson. He taught himself magic tricks, then did tricks at birthday parties. Four kids wearing a suit jacket with sparkles on the front panels of the coat. I have that jacket in my closet, if you want to see it. Yes. Of course you do. Entertain everybody, Vinny. <sighs> Seth Rollins, eat your heart out. That's more than I ever could have hoped for. Look no. at that thing. Is that ridiculous? It's I actually jacket. have to see if I fit. Hold on. A... Oh, no. Okay, if you get stuck, I'm not helping you. Because uh, that one you'll fit. I'm pretty sure. That blue one was smaller. No. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Skinny guy. Didn't quite make it. Jerry King was very casually wearing handcuffs on one hand, waiting Why? to be cuffed to something. What was going on? Because everything this guy does is creepy. He wants to talk about his python. What do you think of my python, he asks Hulk. It opened with an Adam Copeland promo. Yeah, it sure did. So he comes out here to talk about negativity, but he wants to talk about positivity. The point of this was, really, to uh, just be a mouthpiece for any interview you may have heard suggesting that All Elite Wrestling is a... Uh, Oh, let's use the term rinky-dink promotion or a minor league or anything like that. But I don't know that this promo was actually necessary. It wasn't necessary. No. There was a CM Punk interview. Punk said some stuff. Some of it I agree with. Some of it he was full of it. But at the end of the day, 
do your thing. Yes. Do your show. That's my, that's my Forget thought. about it. If you think he's wrong, prove it just by doing a kick-ass show. Yes. Come here, see, whiny is too strong, but defensive? It did not yet. It, it came off as defensive. Yes. You know, last week we talked about the number because it was a, a pretty, uh, I mean, it's a pretty important number. And I said, nah, you know, it's a week. You know, if it happens next week, then, you know, maybe that's something to think about. And uh, and it did happen next week. It sure did. Uh, the show did 752,000 viewers in a point two three. Uh, the biggest growth segment on the show was that goddamn Billy Gunn Jay White match. Really? That gained more viewers than anything oh. else. So we'll see what happens next week. But I I can't sit here and tell you it's a good sign. It's not a good sign to do a point two three two weeks in a row. Yeah, the battle of wills. Well, Osprey versus Will Hobbs. We say this a lot about Will. He needs to be more selfish. I know he wants everyone to look good. Brother, it's the same story with Danielson. Yes. These two matches were exactly the same. In a vacuum, I was so happy watching these two matches. But what was CM Punk's complaint? It's not about booking. It's not about selling tickets. It's just about having bangers. And so Edge comes out to defend the company, and then it is followed by two bangers, which... If you look at the actual story they're trying to tell, these matches made no sense. The story is supposed to be that Will Ospreay believes he is the best wrestler on earth. Brian Danielson believes he's the best wrestler on earth. And they can barely beat Will Hobbs and particularly Lance Archer. Been sent directly a lot of feedback about this Billy oh, yes. J. White match. So I went into it with very, very low expectations. I also had heard all about this before it started. Yeah. And it was still much worse. <laughs> and then Billy beat him. And he beat him. Took him into the crowd. Beat him up there. He beat him and beat him and beat him and fucking beat him and beat him and beat him. <laughs> and he beat him and he beat him and he beat him. <laughs> this was a fucking burial of Jay White. Is he going to be fired? Uh, did he, like, what did he do? And the answer actually is probably nothing. They just booked it like this. But I could not, I mean, it's impossible to watch it and not think, what horrible thing did this guy do? Here's where my... He must be horribly punished on national television. I realize MGF versus the devil won worst feud of the year last year. But this has to be worse, doesn't it? This was the worst booked segment I've ever seen in AEW. Yeah. I don't want to rant about the rankings again, okay? But... Willow does a promo about how she won a number one contender's match, is now the number one contender, and is getting a title shot at the pay-per-view. And at that exact moment, Mercedes Monet dances out and says, I will be getting a title shot at the next pay-per-view against whoever wins this match. Why do we have rankings? Young Bucks versus the best friends. Matthew Jackson is sure to note to the camera he loves the scapegoats work. Gives a big wink. Trent gave him the uh, the running knee. The Busaiku knee. Storm passed his mother. Chuck looked like, uh, he looked like me. Well, fuck. I knew it was coming. It was inevitable. Sad it had to happen right now, but yeah. we lost. Who gives a shit? He makes a, he makes a joke about a, a puff daddy. I'm going party. to beat you down so severely yes. it'll leave you mentally scarred like you left Diddy's party too late. Yeah. Which is amazing because our buddy Sean's in uh, California went to Hollywood today. Sent his pictures of the Walk of, Walk of Fame. Yes, he did. Did you see them too? Yeah. Yes. The Vince McMahon star on the Walk of Fame. The Vince McMahon star is right next to the Sean Diddy Comb star on the Walk of Fame. Mm. I kid you not. Uh, Nathan Fraser and Axiom. Versus Joaquin Wild and Cruz del Toro versus Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson. God damn, this match was awesome. This was a party match. And thank God, it is Braun Breaker and Baron Corbin versus Axiom and Nathan Frazier for the tag team titles. Yes. That is going to fucking rule. Yes. I've been watching wrestling for a long time. I am trying to remember <laughs> a worse go-home segment thank for a you. championship match thank you. ever in the history of pro wrestling. This was so stupid and so shitty, and it sucked. If there must be a winner, you can't just make it a no DQ match, street fight, lights out match. She can't give it a stip. It is, in canon, a one-on-one -on -one wrestling match where she has asked the referee 
to please be lenient because we must have a winner in this match. I hate this show. <laughs> I've never loved and hated a show more. Ren Sinclair. Pardon me, say that again. <laughs> you rolled the R of Ren Sinclair. Ren. She says, this is what Ren Sinclair says. I thought pageants were about being true to who you are and not trying to change to fit into a beauty standard box. Clearly, the woman has never watched a pageant in her life. Dave didn't like this. What? I don't know why. What? I thought this match so overachieved is MMA versus karate. Yeah. I mean... This it, was a blood sport match on NXT. It was. I thought both women performed very, very well. The material is still ass. Roxanne stands I thought it up, was all right. Says with a straight face, I have a year of rage built up in me. Well, maybe she does. I guess. He did get hurt. That sucks. This was legitimate. Sorry he got hurt. Yes. He got tossed, and so Oba goes to pick him up, and it's clear he ain't getting up. Yeah. And that's when the referee, you know, he does the X. Yeah. And then uh, I guess Gacy was able to get backstage, and they checked him out, yeah. and they determined that he was all right. I thought Mello was good here. Trick, to me, has been the better talker of the two the entire time they've been around. And here, I just thought he was half asleep. Hmm. Yeah, like, no energy, no emotion, no intensity. I liked it. I I do think that it would have been better if they did this last week and then did the uh, prime, target. prime target this week. Yeah.